Hi, this is Drew Klausner from PixelFixel.com. This is the sixth and last step in the basic photo restoration process. What I'm going to cover here now is adding sepia tone to your photograph. Many old photographs um, started off as black and white photos and over time they've aged and most people get used to when they age the brownish tone that the image has. It gives it a, a sort of an old or older antique feel. And so when we do photo restoration, sometimes the, it'll be necessary to put that tone back into the image after we're all done restoring. Now, as you can see in this image, we've removed the dust, we've cropped it, we've aligned it, we've removed some background elements that were distracting, uh, we've changed the tonal values and we really cleaned the image up. And you can see this is at the final stage. Now what we want to do is add a sepia tone. And this is how you do that. Over here in your layers window, you add the layer copy. And once you have, you're working on a separate copy, you can make changes to this and not worry about changing your original image. And you go up here to Image, Adjustments, and go to Hue, Saturation. This brings up a window where you now can add color to the image. Before you do that, you need to press on the Colorize button over here in the lower right-hand corner. Now, it will give you immediate values that are no good, but what I like to do starting off is change this to a value of 30, and bring this down to about 15. And now you can see the image has got a nice warm tone and this simulates a sepia tone that might have been added to the photo when it was originally printed. Now you can change it to any color you want based on what looks good to you and change the saturation. Saturation is how much of that color, how strong that color will be. The hue is really the tone, the color of it, the actual hue that you want. And the saturation level is how strong you want that hue to be. That's how I like to think about it. I leave the lightness at zero. Once you've got something that you like, you press OK. And then you can compare it to the original image. Here's the black and white, and here's the sepia tone that we've added. If you like that, leave it like that and save it, and that's about as easy as it gets. Thanks for watching.